Are you considering a move to Davenport, Iowa? Well, this is six reasons why you should never, ever move to Davenport, or at least some reasons to consider. One thing that people talk about Davenport is, by most standards, it is not a large city, but it's also not rural. And people get a little bit in a no man's land when they think about Davenport, Iowa. And this is a one reason that some people decide they don't want to move here because they don't know if it's a large city or if it's rural. I mean, we do have a downtown, but you go, you know, half a mile and you may even see a horse barn. So it's a very confusing dynamic that a lot of people don't know how to handle, especially if they're not from the Midwest, because our cities here in the Midwest are not very large. Now, there's obviously a lot of positives to this in my eyes, though. You know, what I always say about Davenport and the Quad Cities is that it's large enough that you can find something to do all the time, but you don't have to go out and find those things. You can stick to yourself. You don't have to feel like you have to be out in the hustle and bustle all the time. So depending on what you're thinking about Davenport, it can be a great thing that it is in a no man's land, or it can even be something to consider as to why you don't want to move to Davenport. Now questions like this happen all the time to me and that's why people call me so I can give you that first hand look and understanding of what it's like to live in Davenport. So if you have questions, I am a licensed realtor here in the Quad Cities. So hit me up, my number's popping up down below. I am the one that answers all those calls and text messages. So let me know if you have any questions about living in Davenport because that is why people call me. Now everybody knows that Davenport gets extremely cold in the winter, but have you considered the summer? Well, yes, we get extreme heat in the summer as well, and it is squenching. You know, we get a lot of humidity and we get some super high temperatures. Although, as I'm making this video, middle of July, and it's really not too bad out here. We haven't seen those record heats as of this year, but in the past, we have definitely seen a lot of those temperatures. And me personally, I hate hot temperatures. I hate humidity. So it is one reason that I don't like Davenport, but it balances itself out and we get those cooler temperatures, especially in the fall. We get those temperatures that are just wonderful to have bonfires, the leaves turn colors. And I really, really enjoy that fall time watching football, have those bonfires. All the things that you can do in the fall are awesome. So as much as I don't like the summer, some people love it. So you have to experience that for yourself and know going in that we do have those four seasons. So who knows, you may like it, but you also may hate it. If you're somebody that has some super, super specialized skills, Davenport may not be the place for you as far as job opportunities. Yes, we have plenty of jobs here. Yes, if you want a job, most people are finding what they want, but because we're not that large city, we only have limited options as far as employment. You know, we have a couple large companies here. We have John Deere, which is right across the river in Moline. We have Arconic, which is in Bettendorf, and we have a couple other bigger names, but overall, it's gonna be smaller shops, smaller places to go. So you're very specialized, and if you don't have a niche here in Davenport, that may be a reason why you don't wanna move here. Not that we don't want you, but it is something to consider if you are very specialized in a certain field that maybe Davenport doesn't have. So that is another thing that you need to think about. If you're wanting mountains and beaches, don't even think about moving to Davenport because we don't have either one. Unless you consider a sandbar in the Mississippi at beach, which I don't. That is one thing about Davenport is that we're really not a vacation destination. It's not that we don't have things to do. You can go on the Channel Cat, which I just done recently. It's a water taxi that goes across the river. Uh, it's great to be out on the Mississippi River. You get to see the bridges, you get to see the boats going by, the big barges. It's really cool. You can also bike. We have a amazing trail system here in the Quad Cities and in Davenport. So that's another option. We have a lot of events that go on, but again, it's not really known for being a vacation destination. The thing that we do have going for us though, is that we have an easy way to go to a lot of those places because we have the International Airport just over in Moline, about 10 minutes away from Davenport, and it gets you pretty much anywhere you wanna go. Now that being said, 
most flights that you get are going to be connections. We don't have a ton of connections or ton of direct flights, but we do have a lot of connecting flights to pretty much anywhere. Although they just announced that they're going to be connecting directly to Charlotte. So that's pretty exciting for us here in Davenport. So just know going in, if you're moving to Davenport, a lot of vacation options are going to be limited just because we don't have those beaches and mountains. Unless again, sit at that sandbar in the Mississippi, a beach. Now, if you're wanting to go to a state university, Davenport's not for you. We have a ton of colleges here. We have Scott Community College, which over in Bettendorf. We have Eastern Iowa Community College. We have St. Ambrose. Can't think right now. We have a couple of others, but none of them are state schools. We do have the University of Iowa, just about 50 minutes away over in Iowa City, but that's not directly here in Davenport. So if you want that state school, you're looking for that higher education, Davenport is not gonna be your option, but we do have plenty of options that give you a great education for a much cheaper cost, to be honest with you. So if education is more important to you than the state university experience, well, Davenport actually may be for you because we have those options. Howdy, sir, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, so oh, I awesome. make videos about what it's like to live in the Quad Cities. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, so. What's it called? Living in the Quad Cities. Living in the Quad Cities. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you want to go down by the river, there's a bike path called Ben Butterworth. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, have a bus. Thanks. Yep, you too. If public transportation is an issue for you, make sure you're doing your research on Davenport before you get here. Not saying that we don't have any public transportation, but it is a little bit limited. We have a bus route, it goes to certain places, but again, it's limited on where those places are and how far it's gonna get to have to be where you need to be. If you have a job, you gotta make sure where those bus routes are so you don't have to walk terribly far. So just know that. And the other thing about it is just because we don't have great public transportation, we do have Uber and Lyft here in the Quad Cities in Davenport. So it is another option for you. Although it can get a little expensive if you're using that every single day to get to and from work. The best option is to have your own mode of transportation, but I know not everybody has the ability to do that. So if you're moving to Davenport, make sure you're doing your research if public transportation is important to you because it is a little bit lacking in what the options are when moving here. Again, these are the types of questions that people bring to me all the time. And that's why people call me so I can help answer those specific questions. So my number is popping up down below. I am the one that answers those phone calls, texts, emails. So let me know if you have any questions. But if you want to know more about what it's actually like to live here in Davenport, well, check out this video right here because I do cover that topic just in a little bit more detail than I did in this video.